It's the day after the raid, that's true. And there's even a, a greater feeling of emptiness and hollowness today than there was yesterday. Yesterday there was a certain, uh, you know, adrenaline and we knew what was happening and we were moving with great activity, trying to protect our people and be present with them. And today we're feeling an intense loss um, and people, an uncertainty. We don't know where many of the people are. We've talked to many of the families. They've either know that their husbands or their, the fathers or the wives or mothers of little children have been taken and now cousins and aunts and uncles are trying to protect the children. They do not feel safe. They are afraid to go to their own home. They don't know if something's going to happen to them. They do not know what has happened to the people that have been detained. It's just a feeling of desperation that everybody's experiencing today. Thank you for the help you've given. You know. uh, it is my belief that this is an injustice. There was a line from the um, immigration authorities yesterday that they were trying to uphold the integrity of the immigration law. And in my opinion, I don't think they had any concern whatsoever for the integrity of the person or the integrity of the family. And we are the ones that are trying to uphold the integrity of the family and the person and give to them the comfort and security that they need now.